One of the biggest questions I'm asked uh, from any of my viewers and followers is what curriculum do you use? But I'm going to tell you what curriculums I wouldn't use. So one of the first curriculums I wouldn't use is, and I would like to add this with a disclaimer, that it's absolutely fine if you use it. And that is something like The Good and the Beautiful. So The Good and the Beautiful, much like other curriculums, like Sunlight and Ab Abeka, I think you say Abeka, um, they are all very Christian curriculums. They're Christian worldview curriculums. And whilst that is absolutely fine and I respect everyone's beliefs. I'm a pagan. Uh, it would one feel very hypocritical of me to use one of those curriculums. I have tried with the good and the beautiful but quite frankly even if you take out the Christianity it's very boring. It is not interesting in the slightest. Uh, my children were bored to tears. <laughs> uh, so it's not something that I would ever use and I wouldn't ever look into any of those. I also find ones like Sunlight and Abaca very uh, expensive for what they are and I think they're far too much like school for my liking. So another one that I wouldn't use is any of the online schools. Um, Minerva Virtual Academy is one and Kings Inter High. Uh, just they're not for me. I think they're incredibly expensive. And whilst I do think that they have their pros, I think they also have their cons. And it's, it's all just too much like school at home for me. And that's not what we're trying to achieve here at the Adventure Household. We are trying to achieve a, a lifestyle that's full of learning, not uh, school at home. So it's not something that I would ever use. And um, I wouldn't judge anyone who did. But I just think they're very, very expensive. One person who is brand new home educator, I was just talking to her earlier today. Uh, it turns out we used to be neighbours. Um, she was saying, like, you know, she looked at an online provision and it was three and a half thousand pounds a year. Like, that's a lot of money, uh, especially if someone's having to reduce hours or give up work to home educate. Like, it's a lot of money. And whilst I don't doubt that they need to pay bills and they need to, they've got overheads to cover. Uh, if you hear the noise in the background, it's my dogs playing. Um, it's a lot of money for most people and most home educators I know wouldn't be able to afford that unless it was being covered by something like universal credit and I'm not sure it would be because it's not childcare. The final two curriculums that I wouldn't use and I'm kind of lumping them in together, will you two stop it? I'm trying to film, <laughs> um, is the doodle, the doodles. So doodle maths, doodle English, doodle spell. Um, we tried them and we will never use them again. My children just found them really boring they just really didn't enjoy them in the slightest um they felt like you had to do a lot of questions before you could earn an enough coins to spend on your robot or your potions and it was just a lot um like they just found that it wasn't engaging enough for them and the night zookeeper they found it was the same thing like they didn't engage them enough and keep them keep them engaged and they might work for some children but they are definitely not something that works in our house and we will which i'll just never use them again I, even if i see sometimes i see people like um groups opposizing deals and adverts like um you know discounts and stuff for them and i'm like yes it's tempting but no <laughs> so i'm not gonna leave you hanging with answering the question of what curriculums do i use i will tell you what curriculums i do like to use uh just one second <laughs> Before I tell you which curriculums I would use, um, I'm going to start with one curriculum that I do use on a regular basis, and that is the one I made myself. And I have talked about this previously, and I will be talking about it in the future. Um, in one of my videos, I explained, I said that I'm desperately trying to get into the partnership program and um, to make the YouTube, YouTube and TikTok become an income for my family. Um, as well as helpful to everybody else. So like a, there's a, you know, a transition of energy, so to speak. And one of those ways I'm doing that is by uh, launching some digital products. I have shown you uh, some of them. Loads of them are free. I'm just giving them to you. Um, and then there's there's quite often there's one that accompanies it. So if you like the free one, you can get a bigger version or a better version or a longer version. Seriously, my dogs. Um, 
and one of those things is my curriculum. So you can get a month free, and I've linked it in the bottom. Uh, you can get it for a month, and you can try it out, and if in a month's time you really, really love it, or even less time than that, you can come back and you can buy the um, the one year version and it's got everything you need in it. You just need to add maths and some reading and it's it's really, really good. I've had to, I've given it to some testers uh, for free and they are super excited about it and I'm using it. That's what I'm actually doing. That's the curriculum that I've made is what I am working on with my children. Um, and I'm really excited about it and I just wanna share it with all of you. So uh, let's talk a bit more about other curriculums that aren't mine that I also would use. So I'm going to give a shout out to two, two businesses that I really, really love. They are run by two other home educating mums. Uh, this isn't an ad, this is just me. Can you just let me film, woman? Um, this is just a shout out to them um, because I really, really enjoy their products. And I've used their products and I would spend far too much money on their products if I had it. So one of those businesses is Curious Little Monkeys educational resources they have some really really good stuff uh, the blue can you see that too um uh one of my favorite ones is the um blocktastic i think it's blocktastic it's called i'm go sorry uh, legendary literacy language arts curriculum i'm looking at the website right now inspired by minecraft and they also have a numeracy curriculum as well and it's aimed at about nine to eleven um my 10 year old and my 12 year old absolutely love it it's probably a little bit too i think they maybe it's 7 to 11 actually um my youngest who is almost eight would be a little bit out of his um abilities at the moment but he will love it they've also got christmas editions early years books camping edition pokemon pokey fun it's called but it's pokemon um car journey ones you've got lego ones there's one that's there's loads of free ones as well england euros national cabbage day international lego day the olympics otter day they've got loads of freebies in there as well and it's something that i they're not expensive you can download them and print them which is my favorite thing so you don't have to wait or you can buy them and they're spiral bound like what's not to love really so that was started by i think two home educating mums um shush Two home educating mums. Oh my god, I will get through this video, I promise. And um, and I kind of I like buying from other home educating parents. One, because you're helping someone out, but two, also because they get it in a way that big companies just don't. The other company I want to give a shout out to that I really, really enjoy their resources is Fun Learning Resources. Not to be conf confused with um a, another company that's big and sells stuff like toy money and stuff like that not to be confused with them uh, another home ed mum you can see her on tiktok i think both both the owners of these companies are on tiktok as well they share home ed stuff um but fun learning resources i love it the let's explore themes the making waves seaside curriculum we live on the south coast so um it's amazing there's country unit studies there's history there's planners loads of early years stuff it's like 142 products on there and it's beautiful like absolutely stunning um and quite often she does sales as well like there was, she did something recently it was like 50 percent off or something and i went to buy stuff got distracted and by the time i'd remembered the sale had run out and i was very devastated so check out both of those websites um i gonna link them in the description again not an ad i just really really love them i just think they are really really cool and it's it's stuff that I've used as well, like I'm not just um, recommending it for the sake of recommending it, I'm recommending it because I own stuff from them and I think they're good, so uh, check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I do a happy dance like this every time you do. do, 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 do. Um, check out my TikTok, check out my digital products, tell me what you think. Um, if you have got one, leave me a review, I love a good review. Um, was there anything else I wanted to say? No. Apart from thank you, I'm going to go now and I'm going to look at the new Baker Ross catalogue that was just delivered and uh, try not to spend any money. Wish me luck.